Uh, and uh, Declan says, uh, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to believe that the climate is constantly changing with ice ages, etc. Yeah, indeed you don't, because... Uh, that's true. It's the cause and the mooted catastrophic effects that I don't buy and never really see evidence. Everyone seems to just say all the experts agree. We need to question things, uh, says Declan. Well, the reason why people say all the experts agree, Declan, is that all the experts agree. It's an actual fact. That's the point. Uh, The thing is, Declan, if you've got a lump, if you've got a mole on your skin, you're going to go to a doctor about it. You're not going to look it up on Facebook and go, I don't really like what you're saying to me about the whole skin cancer thing. I'm going to go elsewhere and get some sort of uh, version of reality that suits me better. And the thing is, I, I can't help... I don't know if this is the case in you, Declan. Maybe you're just naturally... Um, uh, skeptical about everything, but an awful lot of uh, an awful lot of oh no, this climate change thing is exaggerated, or or this is just a natural set of processes is really fundamentally motivated by one thing: it's by people not wanting to do anything. It's utter selfishness. That's what it is. I don't want to get rid of my gas guzzling car. I don't want to uh, stop buying fruit from halfway around the world. That's what it boils down to. Uh, and so while everybody else, and thankfully it's the vast majority of people people will do the heavy lifting to save the planet on your behalf, you can sit in your lazy, cowardly arse and say, oh, it's all a fake.